Okay, guys. All right, quick short video on the progress. We're done firing the glass. We had done all our burns and we had annealed all our pieces that we needed to anneal. We made a couple extras. Um, so we had just finished all our cuts. So all the glass that we needed to uh, kneel, we did with, with a few extras and we cut what we needed. So now all our cuts are made because so our lengths, we can get all our glass into these lengths. So for instance, uh, there'll be a full piece here and then there's a 64 inch piece there. Um, there's an eight foot length here and then it's two full lengths and then the um, vertical comes down and the horizontal meets the vertical and then it stacks uh, smaller cuts on top and then a full piece at the top of, that meets the roof. So there's all our cuts and then we have these uh, slash cuts that go in the staircase. So the slash cut follows the, uh, the, plumb, the, plumb, the plumb cut on the stair stringer, represents the riser. Uh, top and bottom. So, you know, we had to pair them up. One colored, one clear for our cuts. And um, that's pretty much it. It's just some of the leftovers there. And, I mean, some of the pieces um, we had cut previously with a, um, like a regular box store cutter, which, you know, they're not really made to cut thick glass. That's made to cut, like, um, eighth-inch float glass. You know, those little cutters, but, um, anyways, I'll share the cutting part with you now. Right here, these little guys, yeah, they're really not made to cut thicker glass. It's made for thinner stuff. Um, here's all our cuts, by the way. Um, so, hey, I can show you how we, what we use for cutting. This is our cutting oil. We had got some, um, that's made specially for glass. And then we had got this cutter right here. And it's filled with oil. There's a reservoir. And as you, as you press down on the cutting head, it, it dispenses oil on the wheel. So it gives you a good cut. Um, so I had just cut this piece. There was some leftovers, but you can see it cuts really clean. And then uh, I can actually make a cut. You can see how it cuts. But this is, uh, you can see that, um, I don't know if you can see that. There's oil on there, too, from when we're cutting. But there's the um, tempered glass stamp right there. Now let me stick you. Let me stick you here. You can watch. Maybe you can watch. I'll put you in front of the tape measure. Yeah, so, but, um, but then when you go to use this cutter, you just open up the wheel to get some air in there. And then, um, you know, we were making our marks. We were using the straight edge and then just running along. But I could just run along this piece of glass right here now. So as you push down... You um, even pressure, and then what we were doing, we were using the dowel, and then um, set it on the cut, and then um, I put a glove on when I go to snap, but then that's it. The, the cut's there, and then you just snap it. So there's your cut. You can see it cuts really clean and really easy. I guess if anyone's doing enough of this stuff that um, it's worth it's worth investing in a decent glass cutter and then not trying to use something like this to get away with something that's a little bit thicker. You know, because that's 3 sixteenths. So I think this was like $45. So, I mean, it's worth it. And the cutting oil was like another 14 um, just when you get these, make sure you open up this port uh, to let the oil flow through when you cut. You just give it a half a turn. That lets the oil come out of the tip. And then that's pretty much, much it, guys. We had done our cutting of our glass. And now tomorrow, 
we're going to set up some dehumidifiers and bring the moisture down in the space to get it as low as we can so we're, we're not trapping moisture in between our panes. And then we'll uh, make some more videos and we can show you how it goes with the um, spacer that we had got. We're going to clean this up again, the inside of the glass, really good, and we're going to um, put them together and make our insulated glass units. Alright guys, we'll share that with you so you can see how that goes. So, And then uh, ultimately we're going to be putting in this glass and you can see the final product. But this is the whole process we had to go through to be able to get to this point. So it was a little bit of work with the kiln and the annealing. but. Um, we really didn't use that many tanks. I think we used maybe three tanks. And um, so it was worth it. We had all the glass, so it was the problem was it was tempered. We couldn't cut it, so we had to annul it to cut it. So but we could retemper this glass, but we're not because wherever these cuts go, they're not they're not there's no need for it to be tempered, so all right, guys, that's it. Just sharing how we made out. That's our, our glass cutting, and now we're going to um, get ready to do the next step, and we'll share it as, it, as, it, as we go. We'll share it. Okay, guys, till the next one.